No, not the no, not the ash. Flash, no. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. All right, I'm excited to show the new roof system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know at the end of last episode, I did mention that I was going to unlock the conveyors and set it all up, but I kind of got lost on a tangent. I got totally obsessed with how to create a roof that is so perfect that I do not need any carbon filters. So, these... 3x3s three three in the middle, of course, the carbon can't come down because there's no flowers under it. So above it, I kept changing this around over and over and over again, this design, so that whenever the carbon comes up, it touches this block. It can't go backwards because I filled it out here. It can only go this direction, this direction, or this direction. And the next step would be over here, over here, and then over here. So then they'd be over the flowers like this perfect and then of course the sulfur will keep moving until it comes out the sides so that's what we're gonna have to work on we're half gonna have to work towards getting some sulfur filters going on but carbon to me this is much better than switching out carbon filters every couple of hours and of course, now that there's a roof over it, whenever it rains, we're no longer going to lose lilacs to either rain or acid rain. And uh, I did change the vents here in the middle so that they uh, are now above the flower fields like this. And same thing, I kept tweaking this until I got a setup that I enjoyed. So this has... Uh, been optimized so far for having the carbon come back down and bone meal our crops. But more importantly, we no longer have to replant these lilacs over and over and over again. And with that update, I do want to unveil down here. I did do some extra stuff. Keep in mind, between episodes is an actual week of me just goofing around before I was uploading an episode every day. This is what I can do in an entire week. <laughs> so, I, uh, underneath the iron side, I made uh, these pumps and vents, uh, same exact way. I have a, a lever that's conveniently hidden. Uh, the, and I decided to make them out of snow bricks to make it kind of look like a, uh, an AC unit at the same time, but also white, because I know that in YouTube videos, white is a lot easier to see in YouTube videos than if I went completely dark. But I moved all of my machines down here because they do emit, uh, what is it, carbon. And now these vents are gonna push it out the same exact chimneys that are upstairs where the lilac fields are. So, two birds, one stone. And yeah, letting these guys run for a week we're capped out on red research, we're capped out on green research, on conveyor belts, on basic control circuits, and on inserters. So if I really wanted to, I could knock out the endgame challenges right now. But I'm going to leave it for right now because what I really want to work on today specifically is going to be oil, specifically oil pumps and the oil refineries, and then of course sheet metal tanks so that we can store all of the fluids that are going to be uh, refined from the oil. And then yeah, I figured out that glass item frames go invisible when you put stuff in the frame, so that's why these guys look so cool. But yeah, I'm rambling, so let's go jump right into the quest book, and we can go to, where was it? Right here, oil processing, we need 100 of each. Double tap. 
double tap, there we go, detect oil processing. And then uh, what I do want is I definitely want to unlock plastic as well. So let's go detect for the rest of it. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. We unlocked plastic as well because that's why we need the oil in the first place is to progress through the pack. Plastic is going to be the next thing that we need. So let me drop off the extras that we're holding on in our inventory and we can get started with uh, finding some oil for us. Oh, and then if you're curious, I found out today, or not today, I found out this week that you can shift click the armor, specifically the bandit and the minor gear, and it will change the camo on the armor. If you hold down shift and right click the armor piece, it changes it between these colors. So. I switched my armor set to white. That's why there's only three colors over here. Okay, let's go. So I believe we unlocked the... Oh, before I get into anything, I tamed a doggo. And I wanted to grab a name tag, which I have in my inventory, don't I? A name tag that I got from a loot box. And let's name this guy. There we go. Lash has joined the game. <laughs> and I have to be super careful with this guy. I do want to tear down the turret system upstairs because I did find out this is actually my second horse. I rode a horse upstairs and my turret, all of them, destroyed my horse. So we're going to make sure that Lash, good boy Lash, stays down here. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he's still hiding back here. So I wanted to surprise you guys. Look at this guy. We found SpongeBob, guys. He's the octopus, right? Okay, so this is what we unlocked, the dousing rod. Okay, two sticks and a bucket. Do we have buckets in here? We don't. Let's just make one real quick. Bucket. And two sticks. Makes the dousing rod. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to double F9. Boop, boop. And now we need to right click to try to find oil. So let's see, where do I wanna look first? I know that I would prefer to have oil a little bit closer to this side here, along the back. So let me try and find oil over here first. How about this junk? Nothing. This one? Nothing. Nothing. Found a medium volume of oil. Let me mark it. A large volume of oil right here. A large volume of oil right here, smack dab next to the base. Okay, so the two items that we're going to need, or three items, should I say, is we need nine stone. It has to be stone, it can't be cobble. Uh, this will be the foundation to the unit that we're gonna build. We need one fluid pump. And then we need a total of 27 of these fluid pump components, which uh, since the numbers are off by one, we have to make 28. What am I missing? The steel, right? There we go. So let's go. We need 28. And let's grab all of the fluid pipes because I would rather set up the pump in one place and have a really long pipe for the oil to go where I want it to be stationed. So it doesn't really matter where I'm going to be pumping the oil. It matters where I'm going to be storing the oil for processing. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one here. It's a large oil right next to another large oil. The reason why? Simply because it's really close to a connector right here. So let's go ahead and put down our foundation. One, two, three this 
and then we can put the fluid pump components on top, like a 3x3. Three three. Boop. Here we go, we have the pump now. And now this guy is going to need a fluid pump put on the side of it. So let's go. Uh, how are we going to set this up? I know it needs to physically touch. So we're going to do this goofy little dance. We're going to put it on the side. And normally I don't really like doing this. But what we need to do is we need to shift click to grab the other side. So one right click is in input. So it turns it blue with one right click. So we're going to shift right click and that'll make it an input on the opposite side. And then let's go down one in the hole so we can see the bottom down here. Yeah, it's set to uh, input. So let's set this guy to output oil out the bottom. And then we can run the fluid pump this direction. Like this. And then we can take the pipe to where I want to store the oil for right now. The big thing is both of these machines are going to need power. So let's go ahead and grab another MV and another cable. All right, we need to double boop this guy. And can I make it up top? Nah, I need to grappling hook this guy. <laughs> We're going to put one on the pump and one on the top of this guy here. So this is going to be the... Yeah, this should reach. It should have line of sight. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, and of course the one thing that I forgot is a lever. But the guy, this guy is already filling up with oil. That's awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and face this direction and boop, there we go. So now it will be able to pump the oil to where I want it. Next step, we're going to make a sheet metal tank. So it's kind of like the silo, but for fluid, and it doesn't require as many of the uh, iron sheet metal. So let's go ahead, we're going to make a button for it. All right. Boom. We have the blueprint for the sheet metal tank. And how many do we need? We're missing three iron sheet metal for our first one. And boom. There you go. All right. And I kind of want to place this new building that I'm thinking of in my mind, I want to place it over here. But unfortunately, winter has come. <laughs> Alright guys, it's actually been a hot minute. Or should I say, a hot day. <laughs> it's, it's the following day, that's how long it took me to complete the build. Or not even complete, I'm not even halfway through the build idea. But I did decide uh, that we did need to unlock something that I completely forgot. We need to unlock fluid handling over here, and that requires automation three, which is over here, automation three. We need a hundred of each. So let's go ahead and grab a hundred of each. There we go. Automation three is awesome. It unlocks the automated workbench from immersive engineering. And that is the precursor here to fluid handling, which only requires a hundred. Let's go ahead and drop this in before it fills. There we go. There we go. So now we should also have the fluid router. That's what made me realize that, uh, yeah, we, we uh, need this fluid router. I was planning on building these dudes and uh, noticed that we do not have any. So we're gonna need a bunch of these guys. Hopefully I have the treated wood. Let's see, I have some treated wood left and we do need to go get some more creosote, get some more treated wood going. Uh, 10 of these will make, uh, only two, yeah. We need a whole bunch more treated wood. All right, that looks like the 19 that we need. So let's go ahead and make 19 total fluid routers. And then uh, we can also grab a boatload. Let's go one. Two. All right, that many. Do I have any plates in here? Nope. Okay. So we're going to need a bunch of the iron sheet metal. We have the blueprint. We're going to need to make these routers. There we 
we go. And the three that were in there shouldn't matter. What are we missing? The iron mechanicals. Iron mechanicals. Good thing I made a stack of these guys. Let's drop these in. And that's 15 and four are over here for some reason. There we go. And let's go boop, 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 boop. Pretty sure I'm even going to need more of these. Way more of these guys. All right, that's a good start. I did cut my way through, uh, so now I can do the reveal. I also laid a power line out all the way across and down this way. So this is the reveal. This is our new build idea. And from up here, I'm going to put chemical plants, three of them. I'm gonna have all of these silos that are for diesel, lubricant, and gasoline. And then these four over here are going to be for oil. So let's go ahead. We have the sheet metal tank now. We're gonna put one here, one here, one there, and one there. Sweet. So let's go bing, 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 bing. Nice. Those are the four that are going to store our oil and we'll run this cable, or not cable, this fluid pipe all the way back to the fluid pump. So from down here, this is where I want to connect. This is going to be where the oil is going to flow. So let's see, can I make it out of this hole? Here we go. I shut this guy off because I wasn't 100% sure if I was wasting any oil, uh, but I did know it was definitely generating uh, carbon, and that was kind of bugging me. So I can make this look pretty for right now. We're gonna go one and two. All right, and then I need two pieces of dirt to make this look flush again. There we go. Let's run through and see if the oil is filling up inside of the tanks over here. Since there is no uh, whitelist or blacklist set to the fluid routers for right now. Oh yeah, it is immersive engineering. Do I have any buckets on me? My water buckets. And yeah. So yeah, uh, immersive engineering tanks, you can't see how much is in it unless you're holding a bucket, pointing a bucket at it. So there we go, we have oil coming in. Uh, there you go. Let's go, perfect, oil bucket. And fluid router, we're gonna go top oil. Just in case anything happens in the future where I goof up and uh, com connect my pipes to each other. I have a kind of a plan going that I'm going to run the different fluids on different Y levels. So hopefully that, that will actually work. So after we make these, this is our oil storage, kind of like an oil buffer. What we absolutely need to do next is uh, we need to build the chemical plant. Oh, I'm sorry, not the chemical plant. We need to build the oil refinery from modular machines. This guy is going to be pretty heavy duty. Oil refinery. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's pretty beastly. Nice. So this is all we're going to need. We're gonna need a lot of stuff. And let's see, what, do we have anything new that's in here? Machine vent, reinforced fluid input hatch, normal energy input hatch. So let's check out the machine vent. Machine vents are going to be boiler vents and machine casing, okay. Let's go, reinforced fluid input hatch is a bucket and a normal. So it's two buckets and a machine casing. Okay, that looks easy enough. Normal energy is going to be, yeah, just keep surrounding it with redstone. All right, so that should be everything that we need. Let's go ahead and put this guy together uh, with the same kind of trick that I used. I believe it was in episode two. Man, this biome, it feels like it snows at least twice a day. 
Okay, so let's look at the tag. We have the tag here. The machine controller is on the third block. One up. So let's go. Third block. One up. Right click. And shift. Click. There we go. Alright, let's put this guy together. Uh, the energy, I do know. The energy goes here. So I studied this guy just a little bit so that I know where to put the vent. This vent is connected to this chimney as well. And then this chimney also goes this direction to the future chemical plant that's going to go up in that area. All right, we need uh, fluid outputs, three of them. We go in the corners, fluid output, output, output. We have the vents and the input for the oil. Input goes here. And then it looks like we have the vents on the outside like this. Nope, it's showing it's incorrect. So what goes there? It looks like it's probably steel scaffolding. The heavies look like they go in the middle. Heavy. And then, yeah, let's go. Scaffolding, yep. And up a Y level, there we go. That's another scaffolding. And it looks like now we're going to bust out the sheet metal. Shift click. Sheet metal, sheet metal. Like that. And that's fluid pipe. Let's go fluid pipe. All right. More sheet metal. Whoops. Another fluid pipe. Yep. And then uh, scaffolding in the middle. Whoop. And whoop. Let's go. Man, with this snow, it's really hard to see. Pipe, and now we need the slabs. Let me shift this guy. There. Bam. Bam. Makes you really wish we had a capsule for this guy, but I think it has something to do with this being a 4x4 structure. Whoop. What is this? Bam, bam, bam. And another one. And is that still pipe? Yeah. And then, okay, yeah, cool. Machine vents on top. Let's see what color this guy is. Boom. Red. Cool. I like this color. Whoop. Oh, almost fell in that hole. There we go. I know it's snowing pretty hard, but that is a pretty cool looking machine. I do have this guy ready. Let's go connector. And I believe my wire is already out here, yeah. So let's go connector and wire. Whoa. There we go. Sweet. Missing fluid input. Okay. So this is going to be the part where we have to use our brain. We have to run the oil into this reinforced input hatch. So one thing I did miss is we need a whole bunch of levers. So let me grab the levers and then we can run the pipe down the middle. And then I totally forgot we are going to need three of these dudes as well, the fluid pumps. Alright, so I am going to move this over just one because I do not trust using the hammer to break the cable in half so that they don't conflict. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down this way with this cable. I keep calling them cables. They're fluid pipes. Like this. Let's see, where am I going to go? 
I'm gonna go right in front of the chimney. Reinforced fluid input, there we go. So we're gonna come this way. should be able to grab our levers and tag all these guys. Let's go from here. There we go. And now the oil should be going through the buffer system we have here into this guy. Yep, there we go. Oil. And you're processing. Sweet. And we have gasoline. We have diesel. And we have lubricant, perfect. What I really like about this machine is for right now, they're all separate. So we'll be able to uh, grab buckets of each of them, which is much easier than the immersive engineering distillation tower is a terror to get buckets of each of the three fluids. So here we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to tag this guy on the sides with the pumps because the fluid will not come out of the machines unless we pump it out. And then what was it? Input is one click, right? Yeah. So we're gonna shift, right click, shift, right click, and shift, right click. There we go, we have inputs now. And then under it is going to be the outputs. We also need to uh, tag this dude with power. Nice. Bam. Bam. And bam. Nice. That's not too bad. Now we got power to the uh, to the three pumps that we have here. Before I tag them with levers, though, I'm going to uh, run the pipe to the other sheet metal tanks that we're going to have here. So let's go ahead and see how many sheet metal tanks can we draw. Okay, we're missing iron sheet metal. Alright, let's see how many more we can drop before we run out of fences. Sweet, there we go. That's all of the sheet metal tanks that I want to have up. So let's move this off of our hotbar. We can ping all of these dudes. And as far as I know, I think all sides are identical, so it doesn't matter what side you ping them. Okay, I fell in a hole. Okay, and definitely we should grab our buckets so we can get one of each fluid, so. There we go, and there we go, born slippery. Alright, where's our 15 fluid routers? So let's go. Boom. 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 Okay, so let's make this first row here, we'll make this lubricant. So top is lubricant on each of these dudes. Alright, the second row, I'm going to change this to diesel. So, top is going to be diesel. Okay, and then the final row, which is closest to the chemical plants, is going to be gasoline. Top is gasoline. And then from underneath, what we're going to need is to run one of the fluid pipes all the way through this guy. Mega alien swarm, great. I'm busy laying pipe, guys. I wonder if they're gonna find me down here. Somebody found me. Gotcha.
I can hear them walking on the wood above me. Oh no, they're breaking my wood. That's not cool, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs because I don't want to replace all that wood. Come, let's go, and let's go back upstairs. No, not the, no, not the ash. Flash, no. I hate these turrets. I'm gonna get myself killed now. If I did everything right, now we should be able to tag these guys with levers, and then uh, we should be able to see uh, the three fluids going into the uh, sheet metal tanks. Let's change these to buttons. There we go. Loop. And loop. Lubricant. We've got diesel. We got gasoline, we got lubricant. How about the other ones? Lubricant, diesel, gasoline. Nice. Diesel, lubricant, lubricant, diesel, gasoline, gasoline, diesel, lubricant. They're all doing exactly what they should be doing. So now we have a really big buffer just in case one of the fluid kind of gets away from us. I'm looking at you, lubricant. So next up, what we need to do is we need to build three of the chemical plants so that we can start processing these fluids. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.